It's summertime. Let's fire up the grill and get cooking. Welcome to another episode of Bite Size Seattle. Hi there. I'm Brett, marketing manager here at the Janus Group, your Seattle real estate team. Now that summer is here, I thought it would be fun to get out the grill and cook a whole meal only using the grill. Today we're going to make grilled whole trout with lemon and thyme, accompanied with corn on the cob and baked potatoes. Here's what we're cooking today, along with all of the ingredients that you'll need to cook this at home. Trout are great to cook on the grill because they are tasty, they are cheap, and they are easy to source. When you buy whole trout from your fishmonger, just ask for it as is. They will have already cleaned it for you and removed the guts. It'll be ready to go. With this meal, the long tent pole is the corn. So let's start there. Step one is soaking the corn on the cob. Go ahead and remove the corn silk from the top of the corn and soak the corn with the husks on in salted water for two hours. Then go ahead and preheat the grill while you prep the rest of your ingredients. I have a four burner grill and have the two burners on the left turned up to high and the other two burners off. This allows me to have two cooking zones, direct and indirect. So if something is cooking too quickly, but is not ready to come off the grill, I move it to the indirect heat section of the grill. Okay, now let's get grilling. Drop the corn right on the grill, turning them every five minutes or so, until the husks are black and you start to see a few of the kernels of corn poking out. This usually takes about 20 minutes, maybe 30, depending on how hot your grill is and whether you're using direct or indirect heat. For the potatoes, I recommend using small potatoes. Here, I'm using fingerling potatoes that are quite small and do not need a lot of time on the grill. I'm rotating them on the grill every five minutes, just like the corn. Once they look done, after about 15 minutes, I will test them with a fork to confirm. The fork should go into the potato easily with little resistance. Now for the main event, the trout. To prepare the trout for the grill, you're going to rinse them off under running water and pat them dry with a towel. Then you're going to make three deep cuts. I recommend using the sharpest knife in your kitchen for this. Safety first. Then you're going to take an oil with a high smoking point like this avocado oil and rub it into both sides of the fish. This is to help prevent the trout skin from sticking to the grill. Then go ahead and stuff the trout bellies with thyme and the lemon half slices. Then put a little more avocado or vegetable oil on a paper towel. Hold the paper towel with your grill tongs and rub the grates of the grill. Again, we're trying to prevent the trout skin from sticking to the grill. Okay, now it's time to place the trout on the grill. Move slowly and deliberately. Know that you will lose a lemon slice or two. It happens. Close the grill and wait four minutes. Get your spatula and flip the trout over carefully to the other side, close the grill and cook for another three or four minutes. I like to grill any of the lemon that I have left over and any of the lemon that falls out of the trout, let's be honest. I then use the grilled lemon to drizzle over the trout at the table. And you're done. That's it. Enjoy. Thanks for watching this episode of Bite Size Seattle. Until next time, cheers! House Goals Realized. Janus Group at Remax Integrity. It's a tooth!